What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up, Crypto Warriors and Sergeant Crypto back at it again. Today is Wednesday, May 29th, 2019. Bitcoin is not unregulated. It is regulated by algorithm instead of being regulated by, by government bureaucracies. Uncorrupted. Andreas Antonopoulos, the man, the myth, the legend. Let's get into it. Bitcoin heat map, everything, or crypto heat map, I should say. Everything is pretty much in the green. We see uh, BSV is being pumped. Uh, I would be careful for all those bag hold holders over there. <laughs> but um, yeah, everything else is pretty much in the green, looking good. And let's have a look at it uh, from this point of view. We have a market cap of $274.9 billion. All right, uh, a 24-hour volume of $28.78 billion and Bitcoin dominance at 56.17%. When they say Bitcoin is in a bubble and, you know, oh, the Bitcoin bubble burst, Bitcoin the, 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 or the crypto bubble burst, uh, the crypto bubble was, quote unquote, crypto bubble was only 800 and about $880 billion. When the dot-com bubble burst, it was about um, 6 or $7 trillion back in the year 2000. And in today's money, that equates to about uh, $12 trillion. I don't know what they're talking about. And yeah. I don't really think it has ever been in a bubble. It was just a quick correction. Let's get into it. Um, this is coming out of the Bitcoinist.com. Venezuela and Russia may switch to ruble after trying petro cryptocurrency. So in this article here, they're talking about the fact that the U.S. has placed sanctions on uh, both Venezuela and Russia, that they are still trading with each other, except they're not using the U.S. dollar. They're currently trying or they have tried the Venezuela uh, cryptocurrency which is known as the El Petro and it, it hasn't been working out because you can't trust it so they're going to be using uh, the Russian ruble instead here it is just highlighted this this one part right here I should have highlighted this part the block Explorer also shows just 42 nodes supporting the network talking about the, the El Petro their cryptocurrency the consensus algorithm used whether it's proof of work etc is also unclear uptake therefore has been non-existent despite attempts by maduro who is the president of venezuela to woo investors as reported by bitcoinists venezuelans have largely shrugged off the petrol instead bitcoin adoption is rapidly spreading in the country bitcoin provides venezuelans a way to transact globally by passing sanctions and capital controls there you go bitcoin it's uncorrupted. You cannot corrupt it. You could trust um, what it is and what's being um, provide, provided uh, on the ledger. All right. It's, it's just there. You don't have to trust that when I send you Bitcoin that I, I could take it back. You know, no, no, no take backs. OK, so I think ultimately uh, these two countries, they will have to use uh, Bitcoin this last part right here earlier this year the bitcoin is reported on the u.s back opposition leader juan guaido i definitely butchered that who proclaimed himself as the inter interim president of venezuela interestingly guaido is familiar with cryptocurrency technologies and has been promoting bitcoin since at least 2014 why he's been promoting bitcoin since 2014 because you could trust it you don't have to worry about uh, some government bureaucracy some central bank uh, devaluing the uh, national currency and as we see in Venezuela their interest rate or not interest their um, inflation is up some 10 million percent since the beginning of 2019 all right 10 10 million percent think about that next this is uh defend crypto.org all right so kin the cryptocurrency and their founder have basically sued the SEC. And I'm just going to read it. The SEC has been shaping the future of crypto behind the scenes with sediments that set a dangerous precedent and stifle innovation. Ken is unwilling to let that happen and is setting aside uh, $5 million with Coinbase to take them on the court. So they partnered up with Coinbase. But with the future of crypto uh, on the line, five million might not be enough. That's why we are calling on others to contribute to defend crypto fund. And here it is, is a breakdown of the over $5 million that that they have been contributed so far. ETH is ahead and Bitcoin is right behind Kin. What's happening? 
let let's get into it. Um, in January 2019, Ken came out publicly to share what has uh, been going on behind the scenes with the SEC. This has been a burden for not just Ken, but many others in the space who are optimizing for regulation before innovation. Everyone is always asking what will the SEC think instead of what is best for consumers. I'm going to leave a link to this. I'm going to give you my, my uh, two cents on, on, on what's happening. All right, because this is crypto. This is crypto! I definitely support what Ken is tr trying to accomplish here along with Coinbase. We need regulatory clarity. We need some kind of... Um, straight up regulation or straight up whether this is uh security and this is not you know in the space because as we see l look at the partners that they have here they have circle kin uh shapeshift misari um Ar arrington xrp capital fight for the future all right this uh company here has left the us all right because the sec keep barking down down their um backs and you know keep attacking them so they just straight up left the u.s and they're not accepting uh monies from u.s investors anymore that's capital leaving the country as the u.s if we want to get ahead in the space and um you know be the leaders in the space we can't have money and businesses flee in the country because sec basing their rules on some 80 year old law okay so that's why i think it's a good idea that kin and what they're trying to accomplish here is a good thing however they shouldn't have played ball with the sec in the first place because again this is crypto we don't need their etfs we don't need their regulations all right this is crypto we make our own rules you know bitcoin was invented because it's uncorrupted okay we don't need um i could go on for days man so in the first place they shouldn't have played ball with the sec because they are corrupted because they didn't get a cut of the ico uh funds they came after ken and now you know ken has been trying to play ball with them have been you know filing you know multiple um paperwork and all this stuff you know um paying the fees that they need to pay and all this other stuff the sec isn't willing to to bend all right and especially here in new york city or you know in new, in new york state new york city with the bit license that, that that's 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 another thing i could go you know left left on and and, and down a deep ass rabbit hole it, it's just corruption and at its best <laughs> this just corruption at, at its best at, at the end of the day yeah you know um good for them and i ho i hope that they win i i hope that they get to raise more money but the money should be coming directly from Ken themselves because they were the ones that that wa wanted to um, play ball with the SEC and re with regulators and things of that nature. I'm glad I, I like what they're doing, but you know they should take some of the ICO money and use it because you guys wanted to play ball with them. Now you know you, you use use um, your money that that you raise, man. But I, I, again, I'm not bashing them for raising the money. Um, I'm bashing them for for wanting to play play ball with a government bu bureaucracy uh, i'm bashing them for wanting to play ball with you know new york i'm bashing them you know you shouldn't have played ball with them in the first place all right you should have left them off the court and say yo we you, you're not invited to, to play ball with us all right because this is crypto next all right uh, why the next Bitcoin bull run could eclipse the last crypto bubble. And again, I don't think the last one we saw when it ran, when Bitcoin ran up to 20K and the cryptocurrency market cap ran up to $880 billion. I don't think the last one was a bubble. And I don't think we will see a bu bubble, so to speak, until we are well into the tr trillions of dollars um, for a uh, cryptocurrency market cap as a whole. All right. And when, when Bitcoin's uh, market cap is in the trillions as well. So here are just some key points. Uh, one argument of why the next uh, bull run will be biblical will be once again due to the public's FOMO. Normies, ones, <laughs> as one analyst calls them, uh, or no coiners, now know that a $20,000 Bitcoin is possible, which could cause them to flock to the crypto asset in fear of missing out on another or massive rally. Pretty much anything on the 20K 
is a good buy in my book because once it gets past that, it, you know, the sky's the limit, man. During the last run, we didn't have Cash App, Fidelity, E Trade, TD Ameritrade, Backed, Eris X, Robinhood, and now that Robinhood is able to serve New York customers, all right, there's even more money com coming into the space, and that's what this this highlighted right here was. While crypto has yet to be around during a major global economic crisis, it's designed to be a hedge during downturns, similarly to gold. With major financial markets crashing in wake of escalating trade tensions between U.S. and China, Bitcoin is becoming increasingly attractive. And, and there you have it, man. We haven't seen what Bitcoin and crypto could do during a economic downturn doing a recession or depression type situation because the last time when that happened that's when bitcoin was released all right after the last economic uh crisis that's when bitcoin was released and we saw a glimpse of what could happen when cyprus did a bail-in for the banks all right when they closed down the banks and stole their citizens money we saw a glimpse of what could happen. We, we saw a Bitcoin price for the first time go over $1,000. When the next economic crisis happens, we will see what Bitcoin can truly do. And this is, again, this is just my op opinion, of course. I'm looking forward to the true bubble, um, so to speak, when Bitcoin is uh, over a trillion dollars in market cap. Just Bitcoin by itself, not the whole cryptocurrency space as a whole when crypto as a whole when bitcoin is over a trillion dollars in market cap there you have it man let me know what you think and as all smash the likes thanks for your support hit that subscribe button notification bell and all the good stuff it's your boy sergeant crypto and i'm out peace